I have a 30 amp, 8750 max starting slash 7000 running watts generator I want to connect to my home main panel via interlock switch. The 200 amp main has 240 for heat pump, range, water heater and dryer, and 120 for the other circuits. I do not plan on having them all active during generator use. I see 50 amp and 30 amp inlet boxes available. My heat pump, water heater, and range have 60 amp breakers. Can I run the heat pump and water heater using the 50 amp inlet box to connect the generator to the main panel? Hello, unfortunately that generator is 29 amps max for 240 volt loads. It sounds like none of these three appliances slash equipment would be able to work at full capacity with that generator. Thank you Sam, so if I understand correctly, I should only use this generator for circuits other than the 240 volt 60 amp loads. What would you suggest I do to also run the heat pump during frequent power outages here? Would it damage either the generator or the heat pump to use this? The heat pump is only 3 months old and the generator is still in the box, bought it a week ago. I understand basic electrical, but I'm not an electrician and want to do this correctly. I do not trust YouTube. It could damage the heat pump if it tried to operate with low voltage caused by an overloaded generator. It would likely trip the generator breaker first though. You could probably run the heat pump and air handler on it if you could find a way to disable the emergency heat strips which is probably what makes up a good majority of the 60 amps. I just tested the heat pump itself. It is on a 30 amp circuit. The 60 amp slash 240 volts breaker is labeled a HV heat pack. It does control the air handler and heat strips. Okay, check the heat pump electrical data plate, as well as the air handler data plate and let me know what it says. Amana heat pump tonnage 2 stage single sear 16 ear 13 refrigerant R410 AHSPF 9 CFM 800 cooling capacity 24,000 heating capacity 24,000 voltage 208 to 230 vac full load amps 1.1 phase single cycle slash hertz 50 cycle slash hertz 60 circuit breaker min amps 18 circuit breaker Max amps 20 minimum circuit amps 14.7 maximum fuse size 20 condenser motor type PSC condenser motor HP 1 6th of a horsepower condenser motor speeds 1 metering device TXV rated load amps 10.9 locked rotor amps 62.9. General information type air handler product line ASPT refrigerant type R410A speed settings multi-speed motor type ECM orientation. Multi-position electric heat available UPC 663,051,549,999 performance nominal capacity 24,000 BTU tonnage. 2.0 tons minimum airflow 280 CFM maximum airflow 1,475 CFM electrical data voltage 208 230 volts phase 1 frequency 60 Hz minimum circuit ampacity 5.8 amps recommended breaker size 15 amps. This data is without the heat strips, Amana asked 25B14. Amana ASC 160,241 heat pump. The main now has a 30 amp heat pump breaker and 60 amp for the air handler. All my other 120V circuits total 135 amps per side of main, which I would only use as needed, except the fridge 20 amp and garage 20 amp, on opposite sides of main to balance load. Okay. You should be able to run your heat pump and air handler using that generator, as long as you can make sure the heat strips won't engage. This might require modification of the air handler circuitry if you want to go this direction. Generator output 120, 240 vac, 60 hertz 7250 running watts, 9000 max. Starting watts 
battery needed for electric start, not included, 12V, lead acid, 9 a electrical receptacle 23 prong, duplex NEMA number 5 to 2120 VGFCI 13 prong, NEMA hashtag L530 twist lock 120 V14 prong, NEMA hashtag L1430 twist lock 120 V. 240 V1 DC outlet 12 C AC receptacles air filter DC receptacle ground terminal AC. Would I connect via 4 prong outlet to PBN 5050 amp NEMA 3 or CS 6375 power inlet box for generators up to 12,500 running watts and then wire this box how to the main panel to provide both 120 and 240 volt to house. Using manual transfer switch also. Okay, let me look up the specs on that inlet. I will post back shortly. My main is a Square DCAT Hashcock 30MW225, Series L7 with a 200 main breaker. Okay, you said you have a manual transfer switch? Okay but you also said that you have an interlock to install on your main panel? Okay, it is a manual interlock switch not a transfer switch. Must first turn off main to slide plate upward to then turn on top breaker that allows feed from generator to house only. No back feed? Selectively turn on circuits to be used with generator feed, others switched off. Top two right-hand spots are for the generator feed breaker and main panel. Okay, that clears things up. So to wire the inlet to your panel, simply run the generator hot wire from the inlet to the top breaker that will provide the emergency power. The white, neutral, will go to your neutral bus bar, where all the other white wires are connected, and the ground to the ground bar if it is separate from the neutral bar. Then this top breaker will then power 240 heat pump and water heater as selected, as well as 120 volt circuits, without multiple hot connections inside main panel. This top breaker is a dual breaker, occupying top two slots. Correct, it would power everything in the breaker panel when those individual breakers are in the on position. But, like I said, that generator could only handle your heat pump. If other things are running and the heat pump and air handler tried to start, it would bog down and probably trip the generator breaker. With the generator cord connected from the 1-4 prong, NEMA hashtag L1430 twist lock 120V, 240V on generator to the 50 amp NEMA 3 or CS6375 power inlet box. Yes. Okay. I now see the 50 amp inlet box only shows three prongs, the 30 amp one has four prongs. Which is best to use the 30 amp box with four prongs to connect to generator four prong 120 slash 240 outlet. Since you have a 30 amp generator, use that. Dot the 30 amp inlet. Thank you so very much for your help. I'm searching online for a 50 amp box and cord with 4 prong connection to match with generator connection, and not finding it. Sorry see my revised answer. Above. Okay, now have the 30 amp 4 prong box and cord to connect generator 120 slash 240 to house. Should be fine as Jenny has 30 amp breaker as well. Yes, you want to connect from the 30 amp generator cord to the 30 amp inlet receptacle. Then from there the wiring from the inlet goes to your main panel with the inlet hot wires connecting to the 30 amp double breaker in your panel that provides emergency power. THX again for all your help on this. I live in a very rural area and greatly appreciate it with flooding and down trees today and tornado season coming up soon in VA. Glad to help. Hello Sam, I'm ready to wire the 30 amp inlet to my main house panel now, 
and would appreciate your advice on the proper gauge wire to connect these. I have a 30 foot run from the inlet box to the main panel. The generator is the 8750 max starting slash 7000 running watts, 13 horsepower, 420 cc, Predator with a 30 a breaker, and my main is a Square D Cat Hashcock 30 MW225, Series L7 with a 200 main breaker. The main has total 135A, 120 volts and 120A, 240 volts per side. As discussed before, these will be selectively turned on as needed during use. What wire should I use from inlet box to main panel breaker please? 30 amp output for a 30 foot run. THX so much again, Dan and also new breaker too. You can use number 10 AWG copper THHN slash THWN for the 30 amp circuit. The breaker should be a two-pole, 30-amp breaker. Wow, fast answer. THX so much Sam, time to get it done today. Okay, good luck and stay safe. How many wires total from the four-prong receptacle box to the main panel? Inlet box has W, X, and Y open and also green ground terminal. That would be a back, a red, a white, and a green. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.